All right, hello, second grade students. Today for social studies, we are going to be looking at the Lunar New Year. All right, so first up, what is the Lunar New Year? So the Lunar New Year is the beginning of a calendar year whose months are cycles of the moon. And we see in this picture over here, the cycles that the moon goes through. And the Chinese New Year is the Chinese festival that celebrates the beginning of a new year on the traditional Chinese calendar. All right, so let's look at a brief overview of the Lunar New Year. So Lunar New Year has been celebrated for thousands of years. And the holiday is observed in many countries, including Taiwan, Vietnam, Singapore, China, Malaysia, and more. And depending on the culture and the lunar calendar, Lunar New Year can be celebrated in January, February, March, April, September, or November, though February and April are the most common times. And this year, it's going to be celebrated in February. So Lunar New Year traditions focus on the home and the family, with many people returning to their hometowns to spend time with their family members. So traditional activities vary from culture to culture, but often include exchanging red envelopes, as you can see in the bottom picture, or they will exchange silk pouches that contain money. Um, they'll set off fireworks, play games, eat traditional dishes, um, even clean their house, and they will hold parades with colorful costumes. So in the Chinese culture, the half dragon, half lion, neon appears usually as a giant costume manned by multiple people. So loud noises, fire, and the color red are used to scare him away. So it's hard to see in the picture, um, but um, the half dragon, half lion um, costume um, it's actually really interesting. There's a bunch of people that actually stand underneath it. So it's like hollow and there's like wooden dowels inside and the people um, underneath um, hold on to those and then they are able to walk this in the parade. So these are pretty massive in size. Um, so it takes a lot of people underneath to hold this up and to move it along in the parade. So for many cultures, each new lunar year is marked by one of the 12 zodiac animals. So typically the animals include the horse, ram or sheep, monkey, rooster or chicken, dog, boar or pig, rat or mouse, ox, tiger, hare, dragon, and snake. And in some cultures, they have slight differences. Um, like in Vietnam, for example, a cat replaces the hare. So today, many Asian families around the world celebrate the Lunar New Year. So while the holiday is widely celebrated in Asian countries, many cities in the United States hold large celebrations too. And this is because um, many Chinese people and many other Asian families have moved um, to the United States and have made the United States their home. And by doing that, um, they have brought their cultures and their traditions with them. And so they celebrate those in our country as well. All right, and that is our lesson for today.